Sometimes the best way to stay out of trouble is to keep really, really still. But to see the ultimate wooden performance, you just have to visit the Los Angeles Natural History Museum Insect Zoo, as curator Kelly Walker explains. What I have here is a Vietnamese walking stick. Uh, this is one of the thousand different species of walking sticks in the world. Walking sticks are nocturnal, so most of the time during the day they sit very still. Um, they try and look like a branch or a tree, so they sit on the bark and they barely move at all, if at all. Uh, to protect themselves from things like birds that might want to eat them. So they do most of their eating with the leaves that we have in here at night. But these insects are number two in the countdown because once the stick was an ant. This is actually the juvenile form of the giant prickly walking stick. But since it'll take three months to become giant and prickly, it has a different disguise. Ants are notoriously nasty, so the baby walking stick takes advantage of that bad reputation by mimicking the way an ant looks and moves. The transformation from baby to adult is extreme. With its twiggy tail and leafy legs, the adult giant prickly walking stick takes on a new life as a dead branch. Back in the 50s, one man managed to transform his life even more than a walking stick. Ferdinand Waldo de Mera was an imposter who pretended to be so many people that his life story was turned into a movie. Starring Tony Curtis as the great imposter, in the true story that makes fiction seem tame by comparison. Well, you can't be Ben Stone. I can't? An ex-army warden should be fat, 50, and ugly as thin. For the prison warden had himself served time. The Navy surgeon, cited for 19 operations, had never been to medical school. What's that? Now, sir, you want me to have that tooth out, don't you? Yes, I do. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The real Damara was unmasked several times. But the great imposter just kept moving on to the next impersonation to feed his desire to become a hero. But for the walking stick, a good disguise feeds much more than just its ego. 